Good evening and welcome. I'm Alice Bandukravi. Girls at risk from female genital mutilation should be routinely screened if new laws brought in to prevent the practice don't result in any prosecutions. That's the call by senior Lib Dem politician and former GP Jenny Tong, who has described FGM as gross child abuse. Alpa Patel has the story. Female genital mutilation, or FGM, has been illegal here for three decades, and yet not a single prosecution has been secured. On Friday, new laws were brought in to try and stop girls at risk being taken abroad. Liberal Democrat peer Jenny Tong says she was on a flight from Heathrow to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia and became concerned for 50 girls travelling on to Somalia. There, there were lots of families that seemed to have girls with them and the odd granny, but there weren't many men and boys on the plane. I rang the Metropolitan Police. They were going to trace these families all of them that went out to Addis that way to find out when they were coming back and when they come back they will be interviewed. The former GP says if the new measures do not result in prosecutions she will push for a French style system which examines girls at risk and has seen convictions rise. We've got to stop bending over backwards to accept other people's cultures. We have really got to stop this because it's gross abuse. But some campaigners say the French system would do more harm than good. Imagine kind of picking up a girl um, based on where she comes from and saying, well, you have to have a genital examination. None of your school girls, schoolmates are going to have one, but you, you have to because you're Somali or because you're Ethiopian. That in itself might be quite traumatising for the girl. It's estimated that more than 20,000 girls are at risk of FGM in England and Wales. Campaigners say more has to be done to protect the most vulnerable from this barbaric practice. Alpa Battel, BBC London News. Seven people have been injured after a bus crashed. It's emerged that Transport for London bans or amends over 300 adverts a year. The figure was revealed by the former Transport Commissioner Sir Peter Hendy after concerns were raised that TfL wasn't doing enough to tackle offensive ads on its network. Gareth Furby reports. Weather now with Sarah Thornton. That's it. We're back tomorrow morning in breakfast. From everyone on the team, good night.